Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read a crochet pattern, both in written form and from a diagram. I'm going to show you the name of the stitch, its abbreviation, its symbol, and then I'm going to show you a picture example of what that stitch actually looks like. That way you can tie a picture with a name and have a very cohesive example of what you're learning. I'm only going to go over basic stitches such as chains, slip stitches, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet, all stitches that a beginner crocheter will encounter in a beginning crochet pattern. My goal is by the end of this video, you will be able to search for a beginner based pattern that you want to make and be able to read the written instructions if that's the form it comes in, or be able to read the diagram shown the picture shown if that is how they choose to show you how to make the pattern sound good all right let's go ahead and dive right into our very first stitch the very first stitch we're going to go over is the chain this is how it is spelled this is the abbreviation here is the symbol for chain and this is what a chain looks like Okay, each one of these V shapes is one chain. So here I would have four chains. One, two, three, four. Next we have the slip stitch. Here is the abbreviation. Here is the symbol for a slip stitch. And then here is what a slip stitch actually looks like. You will enter your crochet hook into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through and pull that yarn through the first loop on your crochet hook and that is a slip stitch. Next we have the single crochet stitch. Here is the abbreviation for single crochet. Here is the symbol for a single crochet. And this is what a single crochet stitch actually looks like. You insert your crochet hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through both loops, and that is one single crochet. Next we have the half double crochet. Here is the abbreviation for a half double crochet. Here is the symbol for a half double crochet. And here is what a half double crochet actually looks like. Going into the second chain from your crochet hook. So one, two, yarning over, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, Got three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. The last stitch we're going to go over in this video is a double crochet stitch. Here is the abbreviation for a double crochet. Here is the symbol for a double crochet. And here is what a double crochet actually looks like. In the second chain from your crochet hook, you're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through, You'll have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through only the first two. You'll have two loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two. That is a double crochet. All right, guys, let's actually put what we've learned into practice. Here you will see a pattern, both in written form 
and in diagram form. Both of these patterns are the same exact pattern, just they look different. If you see the written instructions, it gives you a little more information, such as chain a multiple of two stitches plus one. So what that means is in order for this pattern to work, the number of chains in your foundation row needs to be in a multiple of two plus one. So if you're making a scarf, if you're making a blanket, if you're making a washcloth, you have an idea of how many stitches you're going to need to begin that project. In the diagram pattern, you will see a red dot. That red dot is our starting spot. That red dot means this is where you start. <laughs> Next to the red dot, you see open ovals. Those open ovals are the symbol for chain. You will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. We do know that seven is in a multiple of two plus one because seven minus one is six. Six is evenly divisible by two. So we know seven works. So, so in this example, I'm going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you are ready for row one, in the written instructions, it says, turn your work. So we turn, so our crochet hook is on top of our chain row, ready to work. It says chain two. So I'll chain one, two. It wants me to put a double crochet in that first chain that was in our foundation row. So I just made those two chains to turn onto our foundation row. I'm gonna yarn over and I'm going to insert my crochet hook in that third chain from the hook, which would have been my first stitch on my foundation row. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Next it says to skip the next chain and chain one. Okay. Then it wants me to double crochet in the next space. Double crochet. Skip one. Chain one. Double crochet. Skip one, chain one, one double crochet in the last space. Perfect. Okay, now let's look at our diagram. In our diagram, it shows a one with an over arrow. That arrow indicates what direction we are going in our work. One rec recommends row one. It shows two blank ovals to begin, which is our first chain two that we did. Then it has the symbol for a double crochet in the very first chain of that foundation row, or you could identify that as the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. Then it shows the chain one, and then there's nothing in that space. So there's your skip one. Next space, shows a double crochet, then a chain one. It's a blank space right next to it, so that's a skip one, and then a double crochet. What I like about the diagram is it really keeps you in line of knowing where you're putting what stitch. It really helps. Okay, so now when we are ready for row two, let's go to the written instructions. It says turning our work, so we turn our work, says chain two, so I'll chain two, one, two, and then double crochet in double crochet. So going to put a double crochet on top of the last double crochet. Then it says skip one, chain one, and repeat. Double crochet on top of double crochet. Skip one, chain one, double crochet on top of double crochet, skip one, chain one, and one double crochet in the last space. Great. 
Okay, now let's look at our diagram. Row two with the over arrow indicating we're going the opposite direction now. It says to chain two to begin with, which is what we did. We chained two. It shows us the double crochet symbol right on top of the last double crochet symbol. So you know exactly where to put that stitch. Then it shows the chain one and nothing in that other chain one. So that's a skip one. And a repeat, double crochet on top of double crochet, skip one, chain one, on top of skip one, chain one, all the way across. Okay, let's look at the written instructions. And next it says repeat row two. So we know for the rest of this pattern, we are just going to repeat row two. When we look at our diagram, the third row shows another number two with an arrow pointing the direction that we will be going. The reason why it repeats the number two is because it wants you to repeat what you did in row two. And then again, it shows a chain two, it shows double crochet on top of double crochet. And then it shows chain one, skip one, and then double crochet on top of double crochet. So that is one example of what the pattern would look like in both written form and in diagram form. Let's check out one more. In this example, we're going to do the crumpled griddle stitch. If you look at the written instructions, it says it wants a chain in a multiple of two stitches plus one. So that helps us to identify how many stitches need to be in our foundation row for, for our project. If you look at the diagram, we see the red dot and the red dot indicates where we start. Next to the red dot, we see our open ovals, which is the symbol for chain. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains in our example. So let me make seven chains for our example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In our written instructions, it says row one, turn. So I'll turn my hook so I'm now facing the work. It says chain one. So I will chain one and then it says single crochet and then double crochet across. So in that first space, I will single crochet. Next space, I will double crochet. Next space is a single crochet and then double crochet. Single crochet double crochet and ending with a single crochet. All right, now let's look at the diagram for this stitch. We see the red dot where we start. We see all of the open ovals, the seven open ovals, which indicate the foundation row. We see number one with an over arrow, which indicates where row one is and what direction we are going. It starts with an open oval. It starts with a chain, which would be our turning chain to get onto row one. Then it shows the plus sign, which is a symbol for a single crochet. And it shows where to put that single crochet. So you would see that there are two chains there. You'd be putting the very first single crochet in the second chain. Next stitch is a double crochet and it shows you exactly where you're gonna put it in the next chain. Next stitch is a single crochet in the next chain, then double crochet, then single, then double, and single. Again, the diagram is very, very helpful in identifying where you're actually putting that stitch. Make sense? Okay, row two, let's go to the written instructions. It says to turn our work. It says to chain one, so we will chain one. Then it says single crochet in the single crochet and double crochet in the double crochet. Okay, so that was a single crochet. So I'm going to put a single crochet on top of single crochet and a double crochet on top of double crochet. 
If we look at our diagram, we will see the number two, we will see the over arrow, and that indicates row two. It indicates which direction we are going. You will see how it starts with an open oval, which is our first chain, our chain one, to get to the second row. And then you will see how they have a plus sign over the plus sign, which is a symbol for single crochet over a single crochet. And then the double crochet symbol is right over the other double crochet symbol. So you see what the symbols are, you see where the stitches would go. It is just very easy to follow. So you will know, oh, next stitch is a single crochet. It goes right onto the last single crochet. Next stitch is a double crochet. It goes right on top of the last double crochet. And you're going to end with a single crochet. Perfect. Okay, let's go to row three. What's next? Well, in the written instructions, it just says repeat row two. Okay, let's go to our diagram. In the diagram, the next row shows another number two with an over arrow, which again indicates you're just going to repeat what was instructed in row two, but you're gonna go in this direction now. And then it shows the pictures. Chaining one, turning our work, single crochet on top of single crochet, and double crochet on top of double crochet. And so forth across the work. All right, guys, those are five basic crochet stitches that you will encounter in reading a basic beginner crochet pattern. I really hope this video helps at least get you started or aid you in the process of reading crochet patterns. And of course, if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below, or you can contact me via my email or any of my social media contacts, which are all located in the notes section below this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos, releasing two brand new videos every single week, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. If you like this video, you might also like these videos right here. And also check out this video, which is, is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.